Now, I'm not sure what it is about this past year or the past couple of years. The past couple of years have been just nuts. Have you noticed that? I'm sure you have if you live on this world, which all of you do. Um, everything seems to be going up, whether it be um, the, the cost of gas, whether it be on the cost of food, whether it be the temperature. We're hitting records all the time. Um, also, animal attacks have been skyrocketing. Alligator attacks have been going nuts. In this case, black bear attacks. Black bears rarely ever attack people. They rarely ever kill people. And I'm hearing about it a lot recently. It's, I'm laughing because it's just a ridiculous thing. Uh, black bear attacks severely injures Colorado sheep herder. This came out yesterday. In Durango, Colorado, a 35-year-old sheep herder had been flown to the hospital after he was attacked by a black bear while trying to defend his herd, authorities said. The bear was later tracked down and then euthanized by, by an agent with the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service. According to the news release from Colorado Parks and Wildlife, it was the first black bear attack reported in Colorado this, or reported this year in Colorado. It's an unfortunate incident, and we are thankful the victim was able to contact help to get emergency services deployed, and then he was able to get extracted to receive necessary medical care. CPW Area Wildlife Management Adrian Archuleta said in the statement, uh, the attack reportedly occurred at 1 a.m. Tuesday near a camp in the Wimenuchi Wilderness above Lemon Reservoir. Uh, located about 23 miles northeast of Durango. Uh, the victim tells investigators he woke up when he heard a disturbance involving his sheep and the bear. The sheep herder said he fired a 30 30 uh, caliber rifle at the bear, but was unable to stop the attack. The man suffered bite wounds to his head as well as wounds to his left hand and arm, severe lacerations to his left hip area, and scratches on his back, authorities said. The victim had to crawl back to his tent and was able to contact his cousin, who then contacted emergency workers. CPW officers who went to the site of the attack found two dead sheep with wounds consistent with a bear attack, authorities said. They also found the victim's rifle in the blood trail, and a team of dogs was brought to track down the bear. The bear, estimated to be 8 years old and weighed 250 pounds, was found just before 11 p.m., and was shot and killed by an APHIS agent, authority said. The news release from CPW says its agency's policy to euthanize a bear that has contact with humans. It's so, yeah, just like everywhere else. The DNA sample will be taken from the bear to confirm the animal that it was the animal involved in the attack. This is a difficult part of the job, Archuleta said, but when it comes to injuries to humans as a result of a predatory attack, human health and safety is top priority. Oh, anyway. Ugh. Whenever I start talking, I get the urge to yawn, no matter what. Weird. Um, yeah, um, it's a smaller... Well, 250 pounds is not small. Eight-year-old bear, so it's not a young bear either. So it was going after his sheep, and he just so happened to get in the way, and it decided to go after him. This is a little different than like a straight up attack because it was obviously a predatory attack towards the sheep and it started getting attacked by something else and decided to defend itself. This is a little bit trickier of a situation than like a straight up the bear attacked a person. I mean, it seemed to be more of a defensive attack than a predatory attack. There was probably a lot going on in that bear's mind and it just sees... I'm being shot at. I'm being hurt. Um, luckily, the guy lived. I mean, he he went full on revenant <laughs> with this bear crawling to his tent, getting bites all over, blood trail. He was lucky to have survived, and I'm glad he did. I do not want people to die from animal attacks, even if they're being stupid. But this guy wasn't being stupid. He was just a sheep herder living out in the woods, doing something that's been done. For thousands of years. I don't have a problem with this. Well. I don't have a problem with what the guy did. The guy did did everything right that he was supposed to. 
He wasn't purposely messing with the bear. It was one in the morning and he was protecting his sheep. You would do the same thing if you have a farm and you're protecting against coyotes or whatever else. This just happened to be a bear. And the bear decided to go after him. I don't blame anybody. Not even the bear in this situation. The bear was just doing what it naturally does and it just was unfortunate. And because of our policies, we killed the bear. They couldn't relocate it. They couldn't do anything. I mean, considering the type of attack it was, they couldn't have tranquilized it. If they tracked it down, they could have tranquilized it and like, I don't know. But it, in, I don't know. They could have done something else with it. But no, kill first, ask questions later. But that being said, this happened on July 3rd and I had heard about it. A black bear bites a homeowner and attacks his dog and bolts our recovery. Another black bear attack this month. Okay. Also, think about this too. Um, a lot of baby black bears right now. A lot of baby black bears. A lot of mamas walking around with their babies. You'll see a lot of videos. I saw a couple recently. There was like a group of five babies with the, the mama walking across the street. There was one where it was like there was four babies total, I think. And like two of them were like play fighting on the person's porch. And she's like, you know, the whole... Like the most annoying, shrill, you know, how do I say it? it's, it's the whole, like, it's the, it, I don't know how to say it without being mean and like getting, making women angry who watch my, my, my videos, which again, I appreciate all the women who watch this. This is not but uh, against you. I just make fun of everybody, but that whole really show. If a man does it too, it is the most annoying sound in the world. And I, I do it sometimes too. So I get it. I've definitely done it before. And this in the heat of the moment, you just, it's like the baby talk. Litchfield, Connecticut. A uh, Connecticut homeowner was bitten by a black bear after his dog chased it into the yard and attacked the pet. Wait, after his dog chased it into the yard and attacked the pet. Officials said. Both were recovering Monday, though the bear escaped into the woods. The dog spotted the bear as it was inspecting a bird feeder on a porch Saturday in the western Connecticut town of Litchfield and chased it. State environmental officials said the bear attacked the dog and bit the 65-year-old homeowner on the hand when he tried to intervene, officials said. The man was treated at the hospital and the dog was sent to the veterinary hospital. The State Department of Energy and Environmental Protection did not have an update on the dog's condition. This is a different scenario. If your dog is doing that, you notice that a lot of these like alligator deaths are because the person went to go defend their dog. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get why you think it's necessary to go and fight a bear. And I mean, at least he was just bitten on the hand. It wasn't anything major, but, and this was, I wouldn't even consider this a bear attack either. This isn't even a bear attack. A bear attack is when you're just minding your own business out in the woods or whatever, and the bear comes to you and you try to get away, or and it comes after you without you doing anything. That's a bear attack. A, this is a defensive... I mean, yes, it was in the guy's backyard. I can understand that. But, like, the bear was just defending itself... It only bit him on the hand. It didn't do, finish the job. It could have finished the job, but it didn't. The 75-year-old woman was bitten on the arms and legs in April when she was attacked by a bear while walking her dog in Avon, Hartford, Hartford suburb. There were two attacks last year, including one in October in which a 10-year-old boy was mauled in a backyard. Statistics compiled by the Environmental Department show that there were a record 67 reports of bears entering Connecticut homes in, Connecticut homes in 2022. The previous record was 45 in 2020. The state General Assembly passed legislation this spring that makes it legal to kill a bear if people feel threatened by the animal or are protecting themselves, a family member, or a pet. After the most recent attack, the state uh, environmental department urged residents to be cautious while hosting or attending outdoor events during the July 4th holiday and to take their bird feeders down. <laughs> Bird feeders along with trash cans are one of the leading causes of bear conflicts and damage reports. Well, I, again, if you're protecting your property, I don't necessarily have a problem with you killing an animal like that's on your property, like a bear. 
And if it if their numbers are fine, I, I don't see a problem in it. I, I also don't see the... I am I try to take each on a case by case level. I don't try to do like a flat out this is the way everything should be because it shouldn't be. It depends on where you are in Florida. There's a lot of bears and there's a lot of people who don't like that the bears were shot a few and killed a few years ago. I think they're ridiculous. Because then they're going to be the same ones complaining of the bears on their back porch. Um if if the numbers are there and the numbers are fine and they're sustainable, I think hunting is fine. No issue with it. I think I would rather hunt than go to the grocery store because I eat meat. I like eating meat. And, you know, there's there's nuance to everything. This bear's in your backyard. Keep your dog inside. And if you're not able to keep your dog inside and your dog gets attacked by a bear, shoot the bear. You go, you're not going to physically be able to do anything against a bear. It's going to bite you on the hand. <laughs> or worse. But, anyway. Thought that was interesting. Bear attacks on the rise. Hide your kids, hide your wife. They're coming to your houses in Connecticut. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Keep it wild. Yes.